Girl, your comment is so f already. You might as well take the easy road. Okay, you know what? What is the opposite of a pep talk? Because that is what's happening right here. You can't take career advice from an heiress. I am not an Aries. Aries! Hello and welcome to another special episode of Superhero Club, your go-to show for all things comic book inspired on Prime. I'm your host, Stephanie Williams. And before we get too far in, if you want more superhero content like this, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Today we're doing things a little differently by talking about characters from the Prime original series, Harlem, a show that isn't comic book inspired, but could inspire a comic book. Harlem follows a group of four ambitious women navigating all the ups and downs of life while living in Harlem. I can focus on the work and getting back to me. <laughs> I cannot wait until we get back to us. Get back to us. Get back to us. Get back, get back, get back to us. While getting to know the women who make this friend group as dynamic as it is, we thought about who they could be if they were a team of superheroes in their own little fictional corner of Prime Originals. Let's start off with who could be our dependable and brave vigilante of the team, Quinn. <clears throat> Presenting a Quinn Joseph Pride original. <laughs> what do you think? Quinn is an optimist to her fault and sometimes to her own detriment, but that's why she has such loyal friends to be there for her when she needs them most, even when it's hard for her to outright admit it at times. Very similar to some of comics popular vigilante superheroes. And just like them, Quinn is also highly creative, making the most out of her resources. Several superheroes make their own costumes, which is perfect for Quinn's superhero endeavors. She's also one to give back to her community, and some of the best vigilantes at the end of the day want to see their communities prosper. Quinn would make one hell of a cake crusader with enough determination and creativity to earn her a signal in the sky. Next up, we have our superpowered mentalist of the team. In my book, it's obviously Camille. Camille is an overthinking, popular college professor who is a genius at talking about her area of expertise, anthropology, but often cannot translate those lessons to her own life outside the classroom. I realized that my mom will go through great lengths to avoid hard conversations. And I can see that I do the same. She has some of the same attributes as many of the more well-known telepaths and comics, especially with the overthinking. She's great at reading others' minds, but not so great at listening to her own. Now moving on to the weapon master of the team, Ty. This cactus, it's strong, it occasionally gives flowers, it's very self-sufficient, and it only requires minimal watering. The me of plants, perfect. Ty is a smart, ambitious, and business savvy app developer with all the makings of a great gadgeteer. She can sometimes be a lone wolf due to her alpha type A personality, which perfectly matches some of the more popular weapon masters in comics. But at the end of the day, regardless of how much Ty keeps the women she dates at arm's length, she's a loyal friend through and through. The kind of person you want to take that difficult shot with a bow and arrow. Lastly, the energy projector of the team, Angie. Angie has no filter and has no problem acting on an impulse. And that's all the better for a superhero whose power involves blasting baddies with an optic blast, electric shock from her hands, or has access to the whole entire electromagnetic spectrum. Angie also fits the star power superhero trope, both literally and figuratively. There's a well-known mutant who is a gifted entertainer, dancer, actor, and songstress, someone who Angie could go on tour with when she isn't out fighting crime with her main crew. Helmet. Fine, helmet. But only because I am a sucker for a man who understands the value of protecting a woman. Angie, girl, nobody wants in. And this concludes this Harlem Characters as Superhero session of Superhero Club. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm your host, Stephanie Williams. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more episodes of Superhero Club. Remember, you can check out both seasons of Harlem on Prime right now. Mm -hmm.